Hey, hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. It's that time around this wonderful world of ours somewhere. And it's your boy Sanford, fresh off a workout this morning, and I'm feeling pumped and inspired. <laughs> if you're checking out my video or you read some of my posts, you would know at the top page when you click on, it says Sanford McMurray, inspirational life coach to the arts. Now, it's not just the art of performing, which of course I love, or, or cheerleading, which I do, and hip hop. It's the art of life. Now, as you all well know as well, uh, I published a book called Do You Live On Purpose? And a friend of mine was reading the book and she said, uh, Savage, you, you, you seem to know all these things. Why is it that you know all these things and aren't consistent in practicing them all the, thing, all the time? Things like, you know, why have you chosen your teachers? Are you a joy creator? You know, why are you practicing life? Well, I think it's important to know that I wrote the book as a plan for life. It's not that I know it all. It's that I needed to have something come out of me. When I wrote this book, I, I wrote this book on napkins on napkins, <laughs> all the words. I was over at a, a little restaurant that I love going to uh, on the West End called The Three Monkeys. And that's where this book was written. This book was written about 10 days, you know? And once I started rolling on it, it just kept coming out. The Creator, God, Allah, Buddha, whatever you want to call it, just inspired me. It came from inside. It was a feeling that needed to come out. And it needed to come out because there was a lot of things that needed to shift in my life. and and. And I knew that. I knew things needed to shift. But once the book started coming out of me, I wrote it, got some friends to help me edit it, I sent it to a publisher, and next thing you know, it was out there. It was out there. And it was out there because I know there are people in the world that want to make shifts in their lives, that don't know exactly where to start. And that book, Do You Live On Purpose, I was hoping would give people a platform to get started just like it gave me. Now. Part of understanding for me, and I hope for you, is that we have a lot of things that we want to do in this life, things that we're great at, things that we have giftings with. You know, you may be, um, you know, highly intelligent. You, you like studying and going to university. Uh, you may love animals. You may be in the vet business or have an animal farm. Uh, you may love fitness or you train people. You may be a doctor, a lawyer, a nurse, a hairdresser, whatever it is you do, <laughs> you know? And you understand that it's something in you that's calling you to do that. Particularly, you know, if you get up and you're pumped about it, particularly you working with people every day, that excites you. You can see it in your voice. You can see it in the way you stand. You can see it in the way you act. That's part of who you are. That's part of who you are. And so the book, Do You Live On Purpose, helps us to realize those things and to realize the things that we're not perfect at yet. If you're a parent, do you scream at your kids? Do you feel bad about that once you've done it? Are you abusive to your kids, physically and or mentally? Have you done some things uh, in your relationship that you're not happy about to your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife? You know, do you have friendships where you're not talking all the time? You make excuses like, well, I have good friends. I don't talk to them all the time. But when we get together, it's like we never left each other. Stop making excuses, folks. Just be aware that you are doing what you're doing. Now, writing the book helps to get people started. But in order to, say, start running or get into a, a fitness program or start opening your heart to love again, you got to do little things to help you get there. One, read the book. <laughs> Shameless plug, read the book. Next, make a little plan. You know, you have a thought already. Make a little plan. Surround yourself with people that can help you stay accountable and do little things each day. When we do little things each day, it helps to get us closer to where we want to be. When I say little things, say, say if you're driving, you know, and someone else wants to get in front of you when you're driving, just let them in. Just relinquish things, relinquish things, surrender, and, and just be happy. Let things happen that way. You want to start working out? Do little things toward that. You know, get up every day, get your clothes out. You may not go running that day. You may not go running that month. You may not go running that year, but it's in your head, and it's starting to get in your heart. And it's not going to leave until you do something about it. Either you do something about it physically, or you let it go. So... Stay consistent in the things you want to do. Make little steps and surround yourself with people. Now, while I'm talking about books, I'm getting ready to publish my second book called Inside the Heart of Cheer. 
When it comes out, I'm going to let you know because this is a book I've been wanting to write for a long time. Hey, thank you guys for listening. Have a wonderful day and love your mission.